Hi there! Here's a second test based on diverse and well-established facts about our world. No trick questions. Tricky, but legit. Just answer to the best of your ability to test your knowledge of reality. If you want to stop my video before each answer, please do. Here goes. 1. What's the most common bird on Earth? Common grackles? Crows? Ivory-billed woodpeckers? Pigeons? Red-billed quileas? Quetzal coatlesses or robins? The red billed quelea, several billion in sub Saharan Africa. Two, the Canary Islands were named after what animal? Canaries, canary rockfish, canned worms, cape weavers, a South African bird, dogs, or yellow warblers? The name comes from the Latin Canary Insulae, meaning Island of Dogs. Three, what's behind most power outages in the U.S.? Bad outlets, bad wiring, ghosts, hackers, sabotage, squirrels, or water? Squirrels, documented by the American Public Power Association. Four, what was the original primary use of sunglasses? so that Chinese judges could hide their facial expressions in court. Five, if all, if all the platinum on Earth was made into a giant cube, how big would it be? Make a rough estimate. A 25-foot or 7.6-meter cube. Were you close? Six, what's the most expensive material on Earth? Antimatter? Californium? Dark matter, diamonds, Iranian beluga caviar, platinum, or rubies? Antimatter, estimated at $62 trillion per gram. Seven, what people group were the first to start an anti smoking and anti tobacco campaign? Californians, doctors, ministers, Nazis, nuns, scientists, or whiskey distillers. The Nazis, who had several such campaigns. Eight, how many muscles are in your fingers? Zero, one, two, five, ten, fourteen, or fifteen. There are no muscles in your fingers. Their function is controlled by muscles in your palms. Nine, around what percentage of people have eaten insects? How many people percentage-wise? Nearly 100%. As many types of food contain insect particles, which add up to numerous insects over the course of years. Ten. What type of animal is known as the world's oldest? And about how old? In modern times, not extinct animals millions of years ago. In modern times, what type of animal has, was known to have lived the longest? That's what I mean. And about how old? Ming the Clam, found off the coast of Iceland, was estimated to be 507 years old. 11. What's the largest desert on Earth? The Antarctic Desert, Arabian Desert, Gobi Desert, Mojave Desert, or Sahara Desert? The Antarctic Desert, 5.4 million square miles. 12. What's the average global temperature on Mars in Fahrenheit? Minus 100, minus 81, 0, 32, 53, 70, or plus 87. Minus 81. Looks can be deceiving. 13. What's the hardest substance on Earth?
Graphene, a man-made material used in the aerospace industry. It surpasses diamonds, the hardest natural substance, by a long shot. 14. What did the name of the city of Chicago, Illinois, originally mean? Chicanos, Great Lake, Great River, Indian Tribe, Onions, Wind, or Windy? It came from the Indian word Chicakwa, meaning smelly onion. 15. What are the most powerful objects in the known universe? Hydrogen bombs, magnetars, quasars, suns, supermassive black holes, supernovas, or volcanoes. Quasars, which are energy jets trillions of times as massive as our sun, powered by supermassive black holes. 16. What was the first full book to come off Johannes Gutenberg's printing press in the 1450s? The Gutenberg Bible, a Latin copy of the Bible, in 1455. 17. Have UFOs been officially confirmed to exist about Earth? Or, just officially confirmed far in space? Or, is there no confirmation of any UFOs? Various UFO types have been officially confirmed about Earth and videotaped. You know, very interesting. This does not mean, however, uh, space aliens. It does not necessitate space aliens. They're just unidentified flying objects. For now, at least. This ends my quiz, which should have been humbling. Don't trust my answers. If you don't, then look them up yourself. The philosopher Socrates, born circa 470 BC, was considered the most knowledgeable man of his era. Instead of boasting, he said to have stated, I know that I know nothing. So do not be smug in any of your beliefs or dismissive of those of others. And do not just follow popular opinion. Though the facts I've presented are relatively trivial, many facts of utmost importance have been obfuscated by society's lies. In fact, everybody can be dead wrong. Quoting Romans 3, 4, Let God be true, but every man a liar. So please think for yourself.